Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Flashback Mertens card to review today. Now, obviously, this is going to be a cool card to review because of the fact that he is just an absolute monster to use in the beginning of the year, right? The baby meta that we like to call over here on the channel. So, we are taking a look at a card that is 5'7 with high-low work rates, 4-star skills, and a 4-star weak foot. In regards to traits, he has all the traits that we want, right? The finesse shot trait, the outside side foot shot trait right so you know his shooting ability is going to be very good if his off the ball movement is really good as well in regards to pace he has 99 acceleration with 90 sprint speed shooting stats for base card stats look great except for the volleys part but with the basic chemistry style it is actually giving him the shot power boost volleys boost uh which is actually really nice but 99 attacking positioning is going to be very interesting to try out with the high low work rate so I mean, he should move around the pitch really, really nicely, right? Um, in regards to passing abilities, his base card stats for passing is really nice as well. And with the basic chemistry style, it's actually boosting it quite significantly too, which is great. Dribbling stats is something that I shouldn't have to improve. If I have to give this card a marksman, I'll be done. I won't have to because his rare gold card didn't even require it, to be fair. But 99 agility, 99 balance with 95 reactions, ball control, dribbling, composure all look very, very good. If I don't have to improve that, that's going to be the most ideal situation. Because with the basic chemistry style, guys, the card actually looks really good. And you may not have to give it. Because the chemistry style that I was thinking of initially was actually the... I would say like the maestro chemistry style because boosting his shot power significantly as well as his long shots would be a really, really cool situation. 90 stamina is going to be very important for a card like this as well just because of that attacking presence he's going to have. He's always going to be constantly moving. If I want to tell him to come back in the fence, he can do that as well. So very, very important stuff over there too. So, I mean, the card looks like an absolute monster. I'll show you guys how we're going to be lined up in game with the 4-2-3-1. It's going to look like this. We'll be using pressure on heavy touch. Uh... Now, we'll, we'll be using three width, balance with like five width, or five depth, excuse me. Balance three, players in the box set to seven. We'll just be crazy with that. Formation, we will have uh, Dries Mertens playing the striker position in the beginning, and then we'll rotate him accordingly, right? We'll have... Uh, we'll have Alon playing in the CDM role. Alon will be over here. Neymar in the middle with Lionel Messi off to the right side. Uh, the instructions will be stay back while attacking for the fullbacks. Both CDMs. Yeah, they cannot be on cut pass lanes. Why not? It's a little bit of movement out of them. Uh, stay forward for the, for the cam. Yeah, we could do that. With Dries Mertens, I actually just want to keep him on balanced. Just to see how he's going to move with that. I don't want to keep him on conservative interceptions because he doesn't require that. Uh, the left and right cam, we will do balance for those guys. Balance, 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 balance. We'll actually keep uh, Neymar on balance as well. We don't want to like really mess with that too much. Because I just want to see what he's going to do in regards to the movement with Neymar, Messi, Alejandro Gomez, and all of these dudes chilling in the squad. His team is really, really oriented around responsive gameplay, which is really funny to me. But he obviously makes the right choice because that's exactly what you should go for in a game like this. So... We will be using him in the 4-2-3-1. We will be rotating him to the side positions, cam position, just to see if he can play there. When I use the 4-2-3-1, it's the best formation to use because in the reviews because if I play him in a left or right attacking position, I just need to see if he does that characteristic where he utilizes empty space really quickly. He understands when he should push into the middle, all that fun stuff. But I do think that this card is definitely going to be best utilized in the middle positions, right? So... Um, yeah, we'll be starting him off in the striker position. We'll rotate him accordingly, and then we'll basically go from there. Uh, I mean, it looks like he's going to rock with like a 4-1-2-2, two, two, I would say. Yeah, maybe like a 4-3-1-2, 4-1-2-2 maybe. Oh my god, his dribbling is so fast. Let's go. I like his positioning so far in the middle position. The way that he kind of offers his support, kind of plays like a cam, plays off of the other cam. Pretty nice so far. Neymar's got great off the ball movement, so I think they're going to work off each other really nicely. But uh, we'll see what's up with that. Oh, that's great off the ball movement. I love that. You see how he started to move to the side, but then he went into the middle instantly? I love that. That was so good. Regular shot with his left foot across goal. We don't get it, but he goes right into the play again. His dribbling is phenomenal. I love it. His, uh, his animations to release, like, passes and stuff is pretty solid, too. 
he goes back into the striker position pretty quickly as well. So, I mean, his off-the-ball movement is pretty solid so far. I'm liking it. Oh, let's go. He's probably not going to score that. Yeah. So the reason why I said that before I even took the shot is because I know that I know the angles of the shots in this game, right? I just wanted to try and see what he what it was going to be like after that animation because he's going to be a little bit off balance. But in those situations, you actually have to get closer to the goalkeeper, ball roll, touch it away to score that opportunity because he just won't score unless I do all the extra stuff. But I did want to just try the shot uh, near pulse in that situation there. Oh, let's go. That's going to be a goal. Nope. Too close to the goalkeeper again. Oh, we're going to get it again. Dribble. Dribble again. Ah, oh, it doesn't it doesn't register. It wasn't really his fault right there. Game is just a little bit weird sometimes, but you guys see that off the ball move with the high low work rate super aggressive to get him behind the defense over there. Almost scored the opportunity. I like his decision making and the types of runs that he wants to make. Now, obviously, I'm focusing him a lot right now in regards to just seeing how he moves off the ball. But it's actually really, really solid because the way that he's moving is perfect for any given situation because it allows you to push the defensive line further back. He's always going to be moving into the space that you see instantly, which is good because then you can kind of like work off of it. It's good, man. It's a great card so far. It doesn't feel like his height is influencing him, right? It, it, it almost feels like a, uh, you know, the Josep Martinez card from the MLS. It almost feels very similar to him, actually. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the right drag back right there. I had to go back into the uh, middle area. But his dribbling and skill moves are really nice, dudes. You see how he instantly starts to go into that position, but he goes back into the position he's supposed to be in? I love that. Aggressive run right there. You work off of that, right? You go into the CDM position, back into the middle. Maybe go for his finesse shot trait. You know, like, I love players that move like this, man. Because you don't have to aggressively make that pass right away. You just play off of that run because since he goes back into position quickly, um, that's how you're going to utilize the space really fast, right? Look at this card, man. Yeah, guys, so, so far, all I'm going to say is that this card is definitely going to be best utilized in the striker position. The way that he moves there is really, really nice. But regardless, this is the review, so we are going to be trying him out in different positions. So let's try him out in the cam spot this time. It's easier to not have to always analyze his movement in the cam position because he just has to move uh, naturally around the field. So let's see if he plays well there. All right, boys, let's see how he plays in the cam spot now. Oh, interesting. Still utilizes the side positions in the cam spot, huh? I mean, that aggression will be really fun to use, to be honest. Like, look at his left stick dribbling. It's just so responsive, dude. Nice. Nice. Near pulse from there. Hey, dude, he's moving constantly, man. The high-low work rate super noticeable on this card. Offers his support in that area. He doesn't stick to the middle too much. He's one of those players that sticks to the side more, which is perfectly fine because it's actually working off of his work rates perfectly. Kind of plays in a two-striker formation right now, huh? Yeah, he's super aggressive. You should just always expect this car to be constantly moving. Like, whatever position you play him in, he's going to be super aggressive. Even there, I didn't even trigger the run, but he already starts to run forward. But he starts to utilize the middle position over here. Fake shot, little dribble, dribble. Yeah, he's always moving. I like his movement, man. It's very, very good. I will say that that movement I definitely prefer more in the striker position for sure. But as a cam, he's definitely going to be super aggressive, always constantly moving. So it may not be the positioning that you would like. It's definitely not the positioning that I prefer. But I can definitely work off of it. It's one of those things, you know? All right, guys, so in the cam position, you can expect him to be an aggressively oriented cam, which is perfectly fine, of course. Um, especially with the with the instructions on players in the box set to seven, you should definitely expect that from a player that's high-low. So now, for the last test, we will be using 
um, Dries Mertens in the left attacking mid position. Now, this one I definitely just want to play naturally because I need to see if he utilizes the empty space quickly. But so far in the striker position, he's absolutely brilliant with the balance instructions. You don't have to tell him to stay central, although you definitely could uh, because he kind of feels like a super light player, feels like a winger playing in the striker position. So those types of players are really nice on the balance instructions. So let's see how he plays in the left attacking mid position now. Okay. Yeah, I would say it's like pretty meta-oriented. He's got Shapeshifters Messi in there. High-low work rates. I didn't like the high-low work rates on Messi's card. Didn't really fit him. Med Medium-low is like beautiful for him. Yeah, this card is... You know what's funny is that like the way that the attacking play was kind of like moving... You could just definitely tell that he belongs more in the middle. In the left attacking mid position, you could definitely expect him to move constantly as well. But in that situation, we kind of like forced him into the middle a little bit, right? So that's why he was moving super nicely. So this card definitely belongs in the middle, uh, most likely in the striker position. But I mean, dudes, it's a brilliant card, to be honest. Like the height doesn't influence how bad or good he is because of how fast he moves on the ball and how he gets into the positions quickly, you know? Like if I just make that pass, look at how he runs and then look at how he stops instantly to go back on side. That's exactly what you want your attackers to do in those situations, right? Nicely done. In that situation, he actually stuck to the left attacking mid position. Obviously, Neymar plays off plays off of uh, Neymar really nicely. But uh, yeah, man, I, I think he's just best utilizing the striker spot for sure. Uh, I'm gonna switch him back there actually because he's just so freaking good there, man. Like Neymar is brilliant as a striker, by the way. So I just gotta mention that really quickly. But. Um, yeah, we'll have Gomez playing in the left attacking mid position with Mertens up top because, dude, the way he moves there is so nice. Watch, you see how he stops? Now he goes back into the middle. Little dribbles, near post strike, boom. You see that movement right there? You guys see when I do the play reviews for the strikers? That's the movement I want them to do. When they go to the right side there and they realize it makes no sense, they wait for that cam movement for them to go right into the middle. And that's what Dries Mertens did there. All right, guys. So final verdict on the flashback Mertens card. It's worth it from a price value and it's worth it from an SPC value in regards to putting in some untradables. Guys, his off the ball movement in any of the positions is always moving constantly, right? And he always moves into the right positions. I personally think he belongs in the middle, right? In that striker position, the way that he moves there is perfect. He understands when to utilize certain space, when to stop utilizing it and go back into another space. That's exactly what I want my strikers to do. I love not having to put an instruction on my striker because it allows them to play to their characteristics and his characteristics are freaking sick. Like I said earlier, cards that are really good in the beginning of the year, if they get any sort of upgraded version like this flashback card, they're gonna be absolutely monstrous in the game. The basic chemistry style is actually one of the best chemistry styles you can give the card because his dribbling is super, super responsive with the left stick, right? You're gonna give him a shot power of 96 with 98 finishing. Now, with the sprint speed, you may not necessarily need the sprint speed, but it's actually really nice to have. So try him out on the basic, but another chemistry style that I was actually thinking of was the maestro chemistry style because of the boost that you give to shot power, long shots, and then reactions and ball control as well as passing. In my opinion, it's I think the basic makes more sense because the basic... Um, boosts them in areas that are very nice. It gives them the passing boost, it gives them the shot power boost, the sprint speed boost, as well as the ball control boost. You don't need to improve the dribbling and giving him that extra five for sprint speed is really nice since his off the ball movement is crazy. So getting him on that maximum of speed, even though it's not 99, it's out of 95, which is obviously still amazing, is gonna be more ideal, especially with the 99 attacking positioning he has with the high low work rates. This card is 100% worth getting, guys. He was a blast to use, I had a ton of fun with him. My boy John's team is actually so dope because the only player that, feel, that feels sluggish in it is Manolas, right? Like that's the only dude that just feels off, but everybody else dribbling wise just moves super, super nicely. And Dries Mertens is definitely a standout performer in a team that consists of Messi and Neymar, right? So. 
Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.